I have a fill pro head gasket over here. I have a fill pro head gasket over here. 26260PT. 26260PT, right? But the difference being is uh, the first the first gasket I got, and this head is already set up. You can see right here, there's the tip of the head gasket. It's actually blue, but this gasket that he sent me that I ordered actually ended up being in black. So the second head gasket I ordered is black. You can see right here. I don't want to take it all the way out because I actually want to return this thing. Get my 16 bucks back. So, I was kind of disappointed because I wanted to have them both be the same exact type of head gasket. So I ended up having to go to AutoZone and buying a head gasket that was blue again. You can see right there. Oh, I should pull this one out. Let me open it up. So, don't make the mistake I did. When you guys order head gaskets, go ahead and order two of them so you get the same exact one. This is pretty cool though. So, it's a blue, it's a blue head gasket. So, I'm going to read right here. This Permatech MLS, MLS is multi-layer steel. So this Permatech Torque MLS gasket features the next generation of MLS coatings. This new blue coating is specifically formulated for the aftermarket environment to provide, inf to provide improved cooling, seal, and, dur and durability. Bolt and block head threads must be clean and cleared. Do not open or remove head gasket. This packaging until ready to install. Follow OE engine manufacturer replacement, lubricant, and torque specifications. Okay. So here it is, here's the head gasket. Now the way I install head gaskets, I'm gonna go ahead, I don't wanna to touch this surface at all. I'm actually gonna take my hand, open it up like that, see where I'm at. I'm just touching the inside with my fingers, right? I need to get my, um, my cylinder head guide pins. Okay, so the cylinder head has guide pins. When you remove the old, or when you remove the head, make sure that these come out with the engine or come out with the head, or that they stay into the head. The last thing you want to do is drop it down here, which goes right into the uh, oil pump, or not oil pump, the oil sump, I should say, the oil pan gasket, oil pan. You don't want it to go down there. So there's one of them installed. Here's another one of them installed, okay? You take your head gasket, you bring it down, you put it onto the guide pins. I'm not touching the surface at all. Push that out of the way. Okay, so your head, your head, uh, your head gasket is in place. See so this nice blue coating, Felpro, made in the USA. Everything's lined up. You got your cylinder head guide pins in place. Make sure those are in place. Double check. Make sure there's nothing inside the cylinders. You're good to go. If you put any rags down there, make sure the rags are out and out of the way. Make sure you're clear on everything because you're gonna bring in the head next. Okay, get the tying belt out of the way. Push that out of the way. Bring this cooling passage system out of the way a little bit then we'll bring in the head try not to touch the head surface when you bring this in because you've already cleaned it don't drop this okay everything's in place I got the head check the cylinders make sure that those are all good nothing in them nothing in them Okay, the head is sitting there, but it's not 100% on. It's not on in the guide pins. I can feel it. Just trying to see if there's anything holding it up. Okay, it's in place. You'll feel it. It'll it'll click. It'll just all of a sudden come into place. Okay, so what I like to do next is I'll take a mirror. I'll check all four corners. This corner, this corner, and the back as well with a mirror. And the flashlight make sure that everything is flush. It feel it feels like it's flush. Feels like it clicked into place on the guide pins, on the cylinder guide pins. But you want to double check just to make sure that you're not when you put the when you put the bolts back in, the cylinder head bolts back in, you want to make sure that they are not um, forcing the head into place. You want to make sure that it's seated first on all four corners. There's no gaps between the cylinder head and the block. Because you don't want to force the head down. Um, using your bolts because that'll be bad that means something it's hanging up on something so come my mirror here looks good checking in front here looks good there too okay looks like it's good 